in the well-fed state a rise in plasma glucose elicits the release of insulin which will then activate the insulin receptors in many tissues activation of the insulin receptor elicits a plethora of intracellular responses including three anabolic responses which which are synthesis of glycogen from glucose synthesis of triacylglycerol from fatty acids and synthesis of proteins from amino acids in general insulin will promote the synthesis of glycogen from glucose the synthesis of triacylglycerol from fatty acids and the synthesis of proteins from amino acids importantly insulin will inhibit glycogenolysis lipolysis of stored triacylglycerol as well as protein breakdown Key insulin effects on the liver. Starting with the liver, insulin will stimulate glycogenesis or glycogen synthesis and glycolysis. These two glucose consuming pathways will use up nearly 60% of all the glucose pre present in the bloodstream after a meal. <laughs> Importantly, insulin through its receptor will also have two inhibitory effects in the liver. Through a cascade of intracellular events, Insulin will inhibit glycogenolysis or glycogen breakdown and will inhibit de novo glucose th synthesis or gluconeogenesis. Effects of insulin on glucose uptake by muscle and adipose tissue. By specifically increasing the number of glute glucose transporters GLUT4 on the surface of these two tissues muscle and adipose tissue will pick up glucose from the bloodstream in an insulin dependent manner these two tissues constitute a significant portion of body mass and as such they can contribute to a significant amount of uptake of glucose from the bloodstream reducing the amount of glucose in the bloodstream this effect of insulin is specific for muscle and adipose tissue only Effects of insulin on eight key enzymes. Through a cascade of post receptor events, insulin activates a phosphoprotein phosphatase of five key enzymes and activates them. Dephosphorylation of glycogen synthase activates the enzyme and gly increases glycogenesis. Dephosphorylation of PFK2 and pyruvate kinase will activate glycolysis. Dephosphorylation of HMG-CoA reductase, the rate-limiting enzyme in cholesterol biosynthesis, will activate cholesterol synthesis. Okay, and dephosphorylation of acetyl-CoA carboxylase will activate fatty acid synthesis in the liver as well. Through a cascade of post-receptor events, insulin inhibits three enzymes by promoting their dephosphorylation. Those three enzymes are fructose bisphosphatase 2, 
glycogen phosphorylase and hormone sensitive lipase. Inhibition of fructose bisphosphatase allows the accumulation of fructose 2,6-bisphosphate required for activation of glycolysis and PFK1. Dephosphorylation of glycogen phosphorylase inhibits it and inhibits glycogenolysis. Dephosphorylation of hormone-sensitive lipase inhibits lipolysis of stored triacylglycerols in adipose tissue. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.